here we are and from here we can click on the individual libraries to go to their web pages um, or we could go to PubMed through the list here. I'm actually going to click through to the health sciences libraries and I'm going to use the PubMed icon here on the left and we'll see once we click through that the URL at the top is not the usual um, pubmed.gov it actually has information within the URL um, that tells PubMed that we're coming from UC Davis so UCD Lib and um, CDL which is the California Digital Library so we'll have support for the UCE links okay we're going to go directly to the mesh database so we're going to go to the we're going to use the mesh database that's the medical subject headings because every every article indexed in this database has assigned anywhere from 10 or more mesh headings we can either click through here okay these are all the National Library of Medicine databases and mesh is the one that helps you search PubMed. So um, we're actually looking for articles about um, epidemiology of breast cancer and we're also looking um, for articles about mass screening programs for um, you know people with breast cancer. And so who are the people? Um, there are new immigrants to the United States. So we're looking at Southeast Asian immigrants, so Southeast Asian immigrants in the United States. So it, that makes our search a whole lot harder. And we need to narrow down the search with the right terminology. We don't want to get Asian Americans, um, like second generation, we want to get um, immigrants to the US. So let's start here with, first of all, breast cancer. If we put in breast cancer, um, we'll be given suggestions here for sub subject headings. So let's click on the first one. It's actually breast neoplasms, which is the term used in this database. And we can look at the subheadings down here. Epidemiology is a subheading. So we can pick breast neoplasms and epidemiology and search on that. So over on the right side, um, we would click add to search builder. And there are many other subheadings, like if you're looking for causes, you would click etiology. If you're looking for something else specific, you can click on one of the subject headings. We're actually just going to select epidemiology. So now that We've added that to our search box. We're building a PubMed search. Let's say our next concept is um, we're looking at, um, we've already said epidemiology, um, breast cancer, and we're looking at our group, which is immigrants. And we see that term used is immigrants and immigrants. It was introduced in 2008. So of course, by using this term, we're only going to get literature that's been published um, and use this term after 2008. So I want current stuff, so that works for me. So I'm actually going to add that to the search builder. Um, it also has sub subheadings here that we could have selected, such as statistics and numerical data. I'm going to actually just keep all of them, so I've just added the term itself. Um, we can also restrict the term to a major topic. A ma okay, if you're looking for articles that are indexed in the database before 2008, you'll need to use some of the other entry terms listed below. Foreigners, aliens, uh, emigrant, emigrants, etc. Okay, now our next concept is um, we were saying Southeast Asian, so so let's put let's put in Asian and see what we get. So Asian, I'm seeing Asian Americans. Well, that's not quite what I'm looking for. I'm really um, looking for Southeast Asia, but Asian Americans describe persons living in the United States having origins in any of the peoples of the Far East, Southeast Asia, and Indian subcontinent. Um, let's try for Southeast Asia and be a bit more specific. Mm. 
Okay, Asia Southeastern is the term, and the subheadings are epidemiology and ethnology. So we could pick, I'm just going to leave it as Asia Southeastern, just leave it general like that. And I'm going to add it to my search builder. And I can see, if we scroll down here under the entry terms for Southeast Asia, it lists all the countries that this subject heading covers. So um, Borneo, Cambodia, Brunei, Laos, Malaysia, etc., Vietnam. OK, so now I've got, I think I've got everything in my search that I, I want to search for. So I'm just going to now search PubMed, click on the search PubMed here. I don't expect to get too much because I've limited it quite a lot. And voila, I get one item. Um, but all we need is one good item. So, and then we'll look for articles related to it. So, my search was a bit narrow. I only bought, got one. Um, if I scroll down here and look under the publication type and mesh terms, I'll see um, breast neoplasms ethnology, Asian Americans, Southeastern, eth Southeastern Asia of uh, uh, ethnology, etc. Um, and the major terms are shown here with an asterisk, so breast neoplasms, prevention and control. So without reading the abstract, I can actually tell from the subject headings what my article is going to be about. Okay, that, that looks really good to me, and it's yeah, definitely good. So I'm going to click on See All on the other side, so related citations, and I'm going to click see all related citations. So that article was from 2011, which is just what I was looking for, something current, and it's brought in that same article in the number one position and 112 other articles that are related to that search algorithm. So I'm going to wade through those and pick out anything that might be um, of interest to me. Um, what we can do to change our view is change the view on this display settings to abstract and I'm going to ask for 200 per page, apply, so I can actually see the abstracts and just scroll through them easier. I'll also see um, the gold UC eLinks button showing, um, which is what I use to reach the full text. If we click through on that. Um, if the full text isn't available, we'll see the um, library catalog. So that doesn't look good. I see that I'm having to buy it, so something has gone wrong there. I'm going to just click back on that one. I'm actually going to click on the um, that link at the top, the UCE Links menu. So I'm going to get the menu, and it tells me that this top one here um, is not accessible through um, proxy services, etc. I'm going to go to the second one then, because there are actually six options for getting uh, an online version. Um, the next one down is the, the, the Melville Library Catalog, and then if I wanted to request something from another library, so if this was not available to me, I could actually click here and request it from another library, or I could request it in electronic format. Okay, so let's just click through, find our article. I'm going to the second option on the list there. And here's my, and I can click through on the PDF. Okay, and there's my paper. Okay, let's... Okay, so I may want quite a few of these articles. Um, they look interesting, certainly close to my topic, the right ethnic group. Uh, I'm going to click send to, and I'm going to email them all and to myself, 